and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shaki and today I'm going to be giving you some five star predictions that I personally have. Sorry about the lighting in this video. I'm filming at midday and that's a really bad time to film. You'd have thought it wouldn't be. The sun's going in and out of the clouds because it's like where it's moving and stuff. I'm moving back down. We're gonna have some problems with the lighting in this video, but that's fine. Today I'm here to give you some of my five star predictions of books that I really want to get to in the next few months. I'm gonna give you five because there's five five star, it just goes right in my head. I apologize that this first one doesn't have a dust jacket, but the first one is An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. So I believe this is Hank Green's first debut novel as an author. I might be wrong, I'm not sure, please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think this is his first ever novel and it has an average of four stars on Goodreads, but I personally think I'm going to be giving it a five. So I believe this is about a uh, group of teenagers who are like messing around and like the video around and there's these things called the Carls and the main character basically goes viral and I've heard that it's all about kind of like the like media discussion and how things go viral and the treatment of people that go viral and I am a media student and I'm so interested in that kind of stuff. I'm really really excited to see if that's what I kind of get from this novel. I've heard a lot of great things about it and if it's what I think it is like I'm going to predict I think I'm going to be giving it a five out of five stars. My next five star prediction is The Humans by Matt Haig although I don't really like Matt Haig's like contemporary work I think I'm going to really like this one. It's about a prince who dies and then an alien comes down from space obviously and he occupies the dead prince's body he's basically kind of magical realism kind of not it's about an alien in someone else's body questioning everything about humanity and has never seen humanity before and i just think i'm gonna enjoy this and be right up my street because i love things that are like self-reflexive and self-aware i love postmodernism. and i think this is going to go down that route if it doesn't i probably will not give it a five stars because that's not what i'm looking for but I feel like if this kind of ticks off my boxes, it's going to be a 5 out of 5 star. I'm also quite looking forward to this discussion of humanity, what it means to be human, and hence why it's called The Humans, for me to be called out on my ship, because I've heard quite a lot of things about it being self-reflective, and the whole, you know, alien thing is quite funny, how the alien doesn't really know what Wi-Fi is, and stuff like that. As well as that, I've also been told it's very critical on the way that we live as humans, the humans, um, and I'm really excited to have myself be called out by this. I feel got to look at the average rating for this on Goodreads but I think it's a four I'm not sure but I will I'll let you know here my next five star prediction for you is all rights reserved by Gregory Scott Kalasuis Kalasuis Kal I just saw this phrase on the back of the book Maybe I take this five star prediction back. I don't know yet. This has an average of a 3.70 on Goodreads, which kind of worries me. But it's basically the start of a series where every time you speak, you have to pay. So because obviously everyone speaks a lot of the time and like you can't really get away from speaking, everyone is in a lot of debt. And I'm guessing one of the main character's friends dies by suicide because of how much debt he's in because of how much he speaks. I would be in so much debt. <laughs> so the main character, Speth, I think her name is, vows to never ever speak again in, you know, protest of everything that's going on. Speth's defiance and her silence sparks a lot of media attention and attention from the government. It being really self-reflexive and, you know, criticising humanity and criticising the media because I'm all about that shit and I'm very excited to get to this. It's about media, about media frenzy and how she's treating the media and it's also about a corrupt government, so this could be a recipe for greatness or disaster. The next five star prediction I have is Dumpling by Julie Murphy. Although it only has a 3.90 rating on Goodreads, I do think that it's gonna to speak to me maybe in ways that it doesn't speak to other people. This is all about Willow Dean who has always been comfortable in her own skin. This is until Will takes a job at a local fast food restaurant. There she meets a jock named Bo who she is very surprised to find that he likes her as much as she likes him. Instead of flying with these emotions and finding her self-confidence, she starts not believing herself anymore and question her own confidence. To regain her confidence, she enters in a beauty pageant. So I'm guessing this is a, you know, self-discovery novel about um, Will and her relationship with the jock. I personally don't feel like she, that's going to be needed and I think I'm going to have a problem with that, but I do think all the rest of the themes of body image and confidence and self-doubt are right up my street. I suffer a lot of those things in my real life. I think I'm going to be able to relate to Willow maybe on some levels that other people aren't be able to. 
to. And I really can't wait to watch the Netflix movie of this because I think it's going to be amazing. And my last five star prediction that I have for you is What I Lost by Alexandra Ballard. I'm actually reading this this month as a buddy read for the Zodiacathon. We're doing a Sagittarian buddy read of this. So this is all about Elizabeth who has lost a lot of things. She lost her boyfriend, she's lost a lot of weight. She walks into a treatment centre and believes that she's going to be able to plain sail it. She's going to be able to go home and just kind of continue doing whatever that she's doing to lose weight and to lose her peace of mind. And then Elizabeth starts to receive some really sketchy, you know, packages in the mail while she's at treatment and she doesn't really know if they are sarcastic or they're really, really of admiration. I'm excited for this book in the same reasons why I'm excited to read Dumplin. It has a 4.10 on Goodreads and I think this is the one that I'm going to be given a highest rating out of the, all of them, I'm hoping anyway. It's also going to be a buddy read so it's going to be really interesting to see how our opinions differ and my and how my first ever buddy read goes because it's going to be my first ever one and I'm so excited to get to this one. So there are all of my recent five star predictions. I might do some more of these in the future. I'm so sorry about the lighting in this video. It's all everywhere. It's all over the place. So thank you so much for watching this weirdly lit um, video. If you liked it, please like a thumbs up and subscribe. I make videos every single Tuesday on this channel for bookish content. I also have a main channel where I post every Monday and Wednesday. If you have read any of these books, please be sure to comment down below your opinions of them so I know which ones to prioritise and which ones to kind of like lower my expectations for. So maybe I'll enjoy them a bit more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week for a brand new booktube video. Bye!